Morning guys and welcome to Yangshu. Yeah, I have rented out a scooter, electro scooter, and we will take the scooter and drive around and take some beautiful pictures. So yeah, this is the scooter. I have all my equipment with me, what I need, my Nikon is with me, and I have the drone on the back. And now we can go. Fountain. I have found a house here. I don't know what's inside. So let's see here. A lot of jungle. Here's the Lijiang River. As you can see the river. Looks like an old abandoned house. Oh, there's a guy fishing. Wow, it looks so peaceful here. It kind of reminds me of the old Chinese movies where you get into the woods and then they start fighting Kung Fu. So now here is a Kung Fu session. We leave this guy fishing, now we move on, we go all the way up the river, so yeah, now let's go, let's check out what's up the river, so we can find nice images. Yeah, anyway, I think I'm gonna start now the drone because I wanna know how does it look up here and how the cruise ships look from down the sky and I think also it's uh, quite beautiful weather I mean, it's not a blue sky but a um, bit cloudy yeah, and I think it's not gonna rain in the afternoon I hope so so before the break let's take the drone out
fisherman guy here and he came um, and stopped here to finish his uh, fish net and I was flying my drone and now I'm taking a rest and I will go back to the hotel so I see you in the afternoon for the afternoon um, photo action yeah hi guys yeah I missed uh, today the afternoon shooting session because I was tired I had to still catch up some sleep and yeah so I decided uh, just to come out here close to the other river I don't I forgot the name it's on the other side uh, in opposite of the Li Jiang River uh, anyway um, yeah I came out here to fly a drone and I was now flying into the sunset which is over there yeah it was a beautiful sunset from the sky I enjoyed it and I think that's it for Yang Shu I see you in Guilin so stick with me Welcome to Guilin guys, um, yeah I'm just currently in the ancient town of uh, Dashu and um, yeah Guilin so far to me it's very touristic, um, the beautiful scenery with the karst mountains um, is not in the not in Guilin city it's more outside and people pro don't provide here any sort of e-scooters like in Yangshuo. Yangshuo was much much more better in terms of having an e-scooter and being in the countryside so far yeah anyway um in Guilin we will do more touristic stuff like going to the, this ancient town of Dashu
very beautiful old town um, you see the old Chinese houses here um, they are pretty well preserved I think they're more than 100 years old Yeah, I just um, came across an uh, um, old Chinese man and his house here and he let me inside and said like it's okay to take uh, pictures of his old house but uh, he said he doesn't like to have any pictures taken of him. So I can understand here uh, in this old ancient town which is very touristic people are already spoiled by many tourists uh, of, of taking images of them and yeah so far um for taking portraits of people it's not the best place here in dashu but uh, anyway we will go further and uh, have a look maybe we can still get some pictures because i will now go more straight up and move out of the center yeah anyway um it's a beautiful house and very well preserved. I uh, will take a couple of images here. Anyway, I just got permit uh, for this uh, from this couple here, old couple, who, which are playing cards, um, to take a picture. So they don't mind. And now, uh, and right now, I'm trying to, yeah, capture this nice situation here with the two lamps, one here and one here, and the people playing, and the old couple playing cards. So yeah. <laughs> yeah guys I found uh, a nice place here um, where the people play cards so you can see how it looks from outside and they gave me the permission to take a couple of images, so... Yeah. I will stay here for a couple of minutes and take a couple of pictures, you know. See you later.
Yeah, so far I had uh, two other situations where I wasn't allowed to take a picture and I will blend them of course in and now I'm obsessed again with hanging clothes. Yeah, like liking Guangzhou. So I think I'm at the end of my China trip I will have a bunch of pictures with uh, hanging clothes. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I like this image here. Some Chinese cities, uh, as I just saw, as you just saw, it's quite normal crossing a street with a uh, uh, bunch of scooters. So the, the scooters are kind of treated like pedestrians. So it's uh, it's crazy. <laughs> They're not on the street with the cars. They with the pedestrians. Yeah, I mean uh, it's fascinating. I never seen such a thing in my life. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, no, 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 no. no. Okay. Hey! 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 Yeah, I just got invited here into a store. Uh, I bought here some uh, small things. I will show later. And uh, this is the owner of the store. And he said, like, come on, have a drink with us and have a cigarette. And uh, I agreed. And um, yeah, now I'm enjoying up here the, the cigarette and uh, a small whiskey with the Chinese guys here. Yeah. Okay, I'll see you later. Yeah,